Hello and welcome to Flow Shop. My name is Joseph. In this episode, I'm only going to show you how to fix makeup issues in Capture One. So what happens sometimes is makeup artists are unable to get the correct foundation um, that matches the client's skin. It's not entirely their fault. Sometimes it happens. Um, if you have a makeup artist who is really good and is able to hide all these things, it makes your work easier. What happens when you face a problem like this? And that is what this tutorial is about. So in Capture One, what I'm going to do first of all is to create a new layer by clicking the plus icon here. So when I click on it, it's going to create a new layer right there and I'm going to rename it to Skin Match. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a layer mask around the area that I want to correct. So with my brush tool, you can hit B for your brush tool, just like in Photoshop. And then I'm going to start drawing an outline just around like so. So this is a shortcut. And all I have to do is draw around her skin, making sure that I am, I can even go into the background because the color I'm going to select which is her skin tone isn't found in the background and so when I'm making all these changes it's not really going to affect um, the background so I'm using my Wacom tablet and I'm just drawing around here like so making sure I'm adding the skin as much as possible going all the way up and I'll go to meet my star point. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to right click the skin match and I'm going to fill the mask. Now when I draw again, you're going to notice that it's no longer a line, but the whole area has been filled with a red mask. This means that this section or whatever is made red is active and whatever changes I make is going to affect only the red shaded area. In this case, her face, her neck, her chest, everywhere that was painted red. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna come down to my color editor, go all the way to skin tone. Maybe when you open color editor, like so, you might be in basic, just go all the way to skin tone. And I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool or pick skin color correction tool. I'm going to click a color that I like. I'm not going to click the problem area, which is here. I'm going to click the color that I like. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to sample it. I'm just going to click on um, this expansion tool so that I maximize the color range as much as possible. What I'm going to do next is with, a, with just a simple slider, I'm going to drag the hue because the difference or majority of the difference is in the hue. So I'm going to first off start by dragging the hue all the way to 100%. Now you notice that all the colors in the image look the same. It's affecting the colors in her eyes and her lips and I don't want that. So what I'm going to do now is go back to my brush tool up here, click the drop down arrow and go to erase mask. Then I'm gonna erase her eyes like so. Erase this one also. Come down to her lips, make the brush slightly smaller. Erase that area as well, like so. Then I'm gonna hide the skin match that I have again because I want to see if there was a blush applied. Um, there's yeah, there's a little bit of a blush. So what I'm gonna do is make my brush slightly bigger and maybe just mask this area out as well. So here and here, just like that. So the little blush that was created by the makeup artist is going to be maintained. I'm also going to go over the eyeshadow a little bit. I know this is a nude look. Maybe she put some color there and I want to maintain that. So I'm just going to brush away over here and brush away over here as well. So wherever is red, as you can see right now, 
is going to be affected when I start making changes. Wherever you can currently see her normal skin and eyes and cheeks through isn't going to be affected. So what I'm going to do next is bring down my uniformity slider to just about 60%. Now the hue is all looking the same but what we need to adjust now is going to be the saturation because there are different uh, differences in the saturation levels in the image and so I'm just going to move the one up as well just to about this point and I'm going to drag the uniformity slider down even some more and increase the lightness to about this point. So from here, all I'm going to do is uncheck the skin match and you can tell that this is where we started from, this is where we are now, before and after before and after. Now you can tell that this entire skin uh, tone in the image has a very uniform look. The problem area has been corrected and I can now take it up in Photoshop and start my retouching process. If you enjoyed this tutorial, kindly let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, do so. If you enjoy what I showed here in Capture One, you can share with your friends and let them know about this channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.